there's a certain coldness that's starting to set in now. Um, now that it's starting to get real, now that I'm looking at um, and researching agents at this point, now that I'm getting into the beginning of my, my final pass through of this story, I feel a certain coldness when it comes to this project. Um, the, the magic is gone. The magic that... That sort of fun feeling you have towards your work, that, that, that sort of like inspiring feeling, it's gone now. Um, it's gone because there's now a reality to face. And that reality is someone may potentially be looking at this project and considering paying you money for it. That's um, it's a daunting thing. It's a daunting thing to consider that. There's, there's an element now in my approach and how I, how I hit this work now, these past day or so now, that has changed. I'm no longer looking at this like it's, like it's this fun project that I spent you know a year working on. I'm looking at it with this very coldness of, you need to get this right because someone could potentially be interested in this thing and you don't want to blow this chance. That's what's coming now. It's it's that it's that that very cold sort of feeling. It's that very kind of um, almost ominous feeling in a sense when when you really think about it, um, because what comes after that, what 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 sort of comes after this feeling, is that doubt, is that worry, the the idea that oh my god, no one's ever gonna like this, and it, it was all a waste of time, and you were foolish to ever consider it. Um, the, you know, you're not ready yet. The, the, every negative voice you can imagine that that's rattling in your head. That's what follows the coldness. That's what, that's what follows the reality. All the bad things that could happen. Um, it's already started. I've already started to feel those, those sort of negative thoughts. I've already started getting the, the flights of the, you know, the self doubt and all that stuff. I, I, you know, I, I did a bit more research today on agents, um, and, the more I see them, the more, the more I go, oh, this would be a good fit. This could eventually be a good fit. And then I, you know, the cold, that, that, that again, I use, I use the word coldness because it's, it's, it, I feel like it's a very, it's a good way to describe how, how your body tends to react to it, that, that, that sort of feeling. That, that feeling comes over me and, and I look at it and I go, oh, no, they're not, they're not going to be interested. You're, you're wasting your time. They're not going to be interested in this. That feeling comes over me. Um, and... You, you cannot ignore it. I don't believe necessarily in ignoring that voice. I believe in acknowledging it, in accepting it, in sort of embracing it. And with that comes your best, your best version of yourself, I think. Um, I, I've often said on this channel that the best type of art that you produce is never out of desperation. You don't produce your best work desperate. You don't produce it when you're worried about how you're going to feed your family. You don't produce your best work when you're fighting with your spouse and you're going through a divorce. You don't produce your best work when you're going through chaos. Um, all those stories you hear about, the success story, about how the person you know had to come, come up with a single hit and they, they just tried and they, they, the last time that they, they, the hit came through, whatever, those are very much the exceptions to the rule. The rule generally is you do not produce your best work under stress. And so you need to lean into that. Um, it, it, and when I tell you that it brings the best version of yourself, I'm not saying it necessarily brings out the best quality of work. That should already be done. You should have already written your story up to this point as good as you can get in that very calm environment. Now at this point, that final leg under the stress, under the scrutiny, under the weight and pressure of what potentially could happen, now facing maybe a moment that will, to be frank, perhaps change your career. That's when you need to turn the dial up a little bit, a little bit more. And you're not starting from scratch, you're not producing the best work in this state, but you are polishing what's already been produced. You are making that final revision, you're doing that last part, you're doing that last check to make sure everything is perfect. That's when you need to turn it up. 
is, is that level. So yeah, you got to put out your your best short burst of energy to get this thing finished. Um, that is the solution to make yourself a little bit better and to match that. And then with that, accepting the worst. I go into these projects assuming that nothing comes of them. I go into these projects assuming that by the time I query, nothing will ever be published. The, the story that I've written will not be published. But I also go into it knowing that I've produced the best book I could at my current level. That if I went back in time and had a chance to do it over again, I could not have done any better than I did now. And so whether it gets published or not, that, that, that's very much a devil-may-care sort of attitude. I don't mind. I, mean, I do mind. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think there was a chance of getting published. But if it does not happen, it does not detract me. I keep marching forward. And so embracing the last little gasp of strength that you have, embracing those last moments of fear, those last days and weeks, maybe months of fear about how much weighs on this project, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to lean into that and then not worry. At the end of it, not care, not worry, and no longer fear what comes next. If, it, if you get published, awesome. If not, your skill does not change. You getting published, you're not getting published, your skill level as a writer has not changed. Nothing about that has changed at all, right? It is still you, you are still yourself. And so embrace it. Embrace the moment of that. Know that the external success does not reflect who you are and what your growth has been. Um, that's the only way I've found to deal with it. That's it. Lean into it, use the pressure to make you a little bit better, and then not care. Um, yeah. And so, that's going to be it for this episode. I will be back tomorrow.